Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon rising in Venus and it will be for August 2021. So what do we have for money and career, Angel Spirits Guides for Pisces, August 2021. Ooh, Pisces, some advice here. Be true to you. <clears throat> This is about trusting your own inner truth, your own realization of a situation, knowing what you need to do regardless of what anybody else says. You know best this month. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides in Money and Career Only. <clears throat> Pisces, we have um, let go of guilt, whatever that is. Uh, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done, and trust that God loves you unconditionally for the. For, and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. Are you feeling responsible for something, Pisces? <clears throat> what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides. <clears throat> Message for Pisces. Sorry, Pisces, my, my allergies are just terrible at the moment because it's, we've got a heat wave in the UK and obviously the pollen's gone sky high. <laughs> okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Pisces in money and career only. Thank you. What do we have for Pisces in money and career only? Thank you. Thank you. We've got a firm. Create your own affirmations. Think of words or phrases that inspire you and write them down. I mean, this is again about being true to you, isn't it? Affirmations can help manifest. They're also very good in terms of changing our own internal energy, our own internal focus. <clears throat> you might be doing some affirmations this month. What do we have for Pisces, please? There's an overarching energy, thank you, in money and career. <clears throat> Message for Pisces in money and career only, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, money and career only. <clears throat> we have the two of swords feeling stuck difficult decisions weighing something up and you're being told if that's the case be true to you I'm going to pull one more card with that Pisces so we have the seven of wands knowing what you have to do in spite of whatever anybody else says and it can be with regard to some kind of challenge here there's a lot of truth in these energies <clears throat> okay pisces so i'm gonna pull some cards and see what we get for you message for pisces in money and career thank you thank you Three of Cups, celebratory energy, but it's in the challenge position. Three of Wands. Ace of Cups, Pisces, water energy here. So to do with your emotions, your heart energy, your money and career, we have judgment, some kind of judgment call here. There's a call to action. And we have the Four of Cups, bottom of the deck. We have the Nine of Wands here, Pisces, the Wounded Warrior. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
let's clarify um, the Three of Cups, please. <clears throat> Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, worry. Let's clarify the Three of Wands, what's going for you. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is very beautiful. Energy, money and career, Pisces. Let's do the Ace of Cups. Four of Swords, giving something some serious thought here. Judgment card. Seven of Wands again, so that's coming out twice now, Pisces, and that's with a Judgment card. So it's a karmic energy. And the Four of Cups. Two of Wands, uh, choices to do with your future, but someone's making that choice here. The Nine of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles. Interestingly enough, I've got the Nine of Wands bottom of the deck again. What is this guilt that you're feeling? What is this guilt? Is someone making you feel guilty or you're feeling responsible for something in some way? Here, Pisces, something is going on here. It's almost like you're trying to manage your own energy, even though I'm feeling in this situation that there's this kind of negative, challenging energy around you that's making you feel guilty in some way, shape or form. Um, because this is somebody who, who defends what they know to be true, defend what they know to be right. And we have the Two of Swords, which can be about um, a difficult decision, um, weighing something up. There's some difficult decision that you're making. I feel in this situation, um, something's going on with this guilt energy. Because I've got stress, anxiety, worry in your community area. I mean, the Three of, three of Cups, it can be a card of celebration. Um, I mean, you might be a little bit stressed because you might not be hearing about some kind of celebration here or a reason to celebrate. You might be waiting for that. Uh, there is an energy of waiting here, but I also feel in this energy, this is your community in whatever we have a work community, we have a home community, a relationship community, a friendship community, you know, and I'm feeling in this situation, something is causing you stress, anxious, worry in your community here. And it feels like your work community. You're not happy. There's a lot of stress, a lot of tension, um, getting really in your head, in your mind space to the point where you can't think straight, you can't see clearly. Um, and it's, you know, the, the, the Nine of Swords can be an illusionary energy in the sense that once we give prey, we give power to the negative thought process because the swords are to do with the mind, the mental energy. Um, they just stack up like those swords. You know, it spirals out of control. It stacks up like those swords on the wall. So there's definitely an energy here, Pisces, of... of something just feels like very very stressful situation i'm feeling in the workplace it could be within your team and you're doing something about it you know what's going for you is that this is the decision now you know what you have to do uh regardless of what the situation is, you know what is right for you. You know what you need to do. And I feel you're weighing it up this month in terms of the steps that you now need to take. Because we have the three of wands, which is a card of growth. Um, opening up your horizons here. Opening up some horizons. Opening up to uh, being open to manifesting new paths looking at a new goal, a new vision maybe for some of you, opening your perspective, taking steps towards making some kind of new path your reality. 
And the three of wands is there could have been some conversations, there could have been some uh, steps that you've taken, there could have been some action that you've been taking here. It's being inspired to take action here. Uh, this is the first signs of success coming your way. Your ships are coming in. They're not in the harbour yet, but there's a message with the three of wands. There is growth here. There is growth here on the new path. I feel you're turning your back on some kind of stressful situation that has something to do with guilt or you're feeling responsible in some way, shape or form. And the message is something beautiful is coming your way. What's coming your way? Well, we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is an offer or an opportunity that brings change. But it's something solid, it's something stable, secure. Um, and you've taken steps towards this. And this is an energy of... This can be an energy of an offer is coming your way. Someone's going to make you an offer. Um, that could be in the form of... A job that could be in the form of a new business opportunity, a client, a contract, um, call it what you will, but there's definitely an energy here of there's some abundance coming your way. This can be also some sum of money, but it feels to do with some kind of opportunity that brings significant change and almost kind of like a new level of stability where you've gone through some kind of stress and anxiety and worry. The obstacle to overcome is to take action. Something has been a battle here. I've got, I saw two wounded warriors here. So the two nine of wands, didn't we, with the bottom of the deck here. So two wounded warriors. Something has really tested your faith. Something has been an uphill struggle. And there is an energy here of, you know what you now need to do. Your, um, Maybe waiting on getting some clarity here, maybe giving some thought to a situation. But it feels like you're ready to make some kind of important decision to do with what's going to make you happy. The Ace of Cups is what's going to make you happy here. Uh, it's a new beginning uh, in terms of feeling happy, feeling fulfilled again. Um, your cup is overflowing. This is also what's good for me in terms of my own health, my own um, self-love, you know, my own self-care here. So there's definitely an energy if you're giving some thoughts, you know, something isn't working out right now. And there's definitely an energy of what do I do? And this is the energy if I'm taking steps. I'm taking steps to manifest something new. And there's a message there is an offer coming your way. It's very straightforward. <clears throat> Yeah, you, you kind of know what you need to do here, Pisces. Um, this is a big judgment call. So it's a message for those around you. Actions have consequences. And I do feel in this energy, um, karma is on your side. This is the advice from spirit. So this is a spiritually blessed, blessed energy. So there is an energy here of, of persevere, keep on going. Um, because you are getting on higher ground than that which opposes you. It has been a challenge, it's been an effort, it has been an uphill struggle here, but I definitely feel in this situation, um, and some defensive energy here as well, Pisces, defending yourself or feeling the need to defend yourself in some way, shape or form in the workplace. It's not a nice energy, it doesn't feel like a nice environment. It doesn't feel like a nice work environment at all. Um, it's going to change. This is coming to an end. <clears throat> and that's what you're being told. The Ace of Cups is coming your way. So we have um, judgment, a call to action, the need to take action now. Are you happy on your current path? I mean, clearly in this energy is signals that there is some stress, upset, worry, um, defensive energy around your current situation. And there's an energy of, or do you make a decision to go a different way? And this is about a big decision, huge decision, because choices have consequences, both good and bad. I feel in this energy, this is what you're putting your energy and time into. There's karmic energy supporting you here. Um, but I certainly feel that there is um, something to do with your environment. There is definitely an energy of reap what you sow for the negative, you know, it feels like in the eyes of the eyes of judgment are on this here. 
And there's definitely an energy here in the, in the advice from spirit section. Um, there's some karmic energy that's working for you. But I also feel in this energy, it will, if you move to another job or move, change careers or, you know, this kind of energy, I definitely feel that you'll, they'll probably feel your loss. You know, they'll probably feel your loss, even though it wasn't a good, it doesn't feel like a good work environment. But this is the wake up call. There will be, this is the time to take action because for some of you, there is some beautiful opportunity coming your way in the form of some kind of offer. And again, this is, uh, the unknown is calling you. The unknown is calling you. This is about, it's time to step into the unknown. It's time to uh, take the first steps towards um, moving away from someone that may, somewhere that might feel comfortable, but nevertheless, it doesn't feel healthy for you. It doesn't feel a healthy working environment and taking a step towards the unknown, unknown territory. But the unknown is exactly where you need to be. That's what you're being told here because you're not happy. This is a kind of discontent. Somebody who uh, will stay where they are, not be happy um, because it's comfortable, because uh, they're bored or they're feeling apathetic. You know, it can be that kind of situation, feeling bored, apathetic, but I'm not doing anything about it. The four of, four of, four of cups. So you're being given a divine nudge with that fourth cup here to take action to make some clear choices now this is again an action energy the one's energy so it's time to act because the divine nudge is telling you there is some opportunity available for you and yeah it has it has been a test of faith here pisces it has been a test of faith uh the nine of wands is however change is closer than you think um, something is coming to a close here and I definitely feel you're just being given a push, a gentle nudge from the universe now to take action because there is the beginnings of new success coming your way. What you have been taking steps towards, this is the beginnings of joining a new team, could be joining a new company, starting your own business partnership. Um, whatever resonates for you, but it's the beginnings of success, the Three of Pentacles. Uh, and it's a solid, it's almost like laying the foundation. What you're doing is laying the foundation to build upon, something that you can build upon. And it's solid, stable, secure. It's got value, uh, you're valued, you're feeling your worth, you're fitting in with a team, you know? It feels this kind of energy here. So, Something more beautiful is coming your way and it feels uh, it's in sight. It's in sight. Might well be a bit of um, waiting here, Pisces. I don't feel you'll be waiting for much longer because the Nine of Wands is near completion. There may well be one hurdle, one obstacle to overcome in August before you get the offer. So, for example, it could be negotiations on contract. It could be um, a meeting. It could be meeting a certain person that you need to get a sign off, you know, they need to get a sign off from somebody. Um, it could be people are on holiday, you know, and there's just a few delays, you know. It's all this kind of energy. There's just one thing um, to overcome, one hurdle, and then you are, there's the offer. It's coming your way. Uh, first signs of success, your ships are coming in. And it feels where you're going to be valued and you're going to fit in very well. I see that long term. Sometimes we don't make those choices out of fear and you're being told with this energy you've got nothing to fear by stepping into the unknown. There's an, there's an energy of comfort but not being happy and there's definitely an energy here of, of <clears throat> overcoming your own inner reservations or your own inner fears or doubts in this situation to take action, to make some kind of decision and choice. So we have Tiger, love the Tiger energy, divine timing, good things come to those who wait. I did say there might be a little bit of waiting, it doesn't feel a horrendous amount, 
uh, but it does feel like maybe for some practical reasons there just is a little bit of waiting here and we have the snake kundalini rising channel your creative passion and sensuality welcome the transformation um, transformative energy the snake energy I always say it's shedding an old skin and that's what you're doing you're shedding an old skin well certainly that's what the universe is, is suggesting you know for some of you if it resonates that's what you should do so this is about seeing the value of you i mean i'm looking at that be true to you card know your worth here know your worth what you deserve what you'll stand for what you won't stand for um so i hope you enjoyed the reading pisces if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you